back to school. I don't know. I mean, did you have, did you, have you looked at any of this, uh, the back to school stuff? Um, I know about some, um, I don't know, basically, like, I have a lot of thoughts about back to school and how it operates with COVID, okay. if that's, if that's what yep. you mean. Uh, uh, I know that, uh, my college is like, but I think they're doing generally a good job and they're doing what they can. Um, I'm not someone who works super well, just like at home on the internet. Um, and so I was a little bit concerned about that. And originally I was like, oh, look, all my classes are on campus. Um, and then they switched it on me because I guess they had to spend some time figuring out which ones, like which classes they want on campus and which ones they don't feel like they need 100% on campus. And I guess they decided that a bunch of like the like the super basic gen ed ones should be on campus, which I feel like maybe it would be the opposite, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's interesting. Um, they kept like all the class sizes at 35, like generally like the U of U is doing, doing pretty well. Um, the Jordan, like <laughs> Utah school districts though, uh, aren't doing uh, the best. Uh, it's my understanding that um, right now they're just having school be completely normal uh no caps on classes or anything like that and just that kids are required to wear masks which good luck enforcing that depending on the age uh, <laughs> and you have the option to do online just like you always have i guess more people are probably going to choose it um but it's definitely like i think that it's not going to be great for for working families at all because you could at least like like for us, it's going to be somewhat of an issue because my little sisters, right, they have to probably go to school. I guess with me going online, it probably won't be as bad. But like we either have the choice of like sending them there constantly into like a pigsty, right, where they could very yeah. well bring it back to us or get sick or, you know, something like that. Or they can be online and then probably have to be home alone. So it's like, what do we do? Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, like there probably isn't much of a win-win situation there, um, which is the hard part, but I don't think, I think they could have made a lot more modifications to the way that they're operating, um, <laughs> uh, like actual in-school stuff, um, especially like in, in our district, because um, they had a survey and I guess all the parents were like, yeah, don't, like, we don't care. Um, so that's fun. And like, even if you make the argument that little kids don't really die from it that much, which is true, um, it's still pretty dangerous, but that's true. Like they're still gonna bring it home. Like it's yeah. not like germs are left in the school, right? So especially if they live with like grandparents or something, it's gonna cause a big problem or people who are like frontline workers who have to work like in a physical place all the time, um, it could cause a lot of problems, but we'll hope, we'll hope for the best, I guess. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much like all my thoughts about back to school like I've always liked school for the most part even though I don't work super hard in it all the time um so I'm excited to start school but it's a little different this time so yeah well one thing that I um I was surprised to learn I mean I guess not surprised but I learned I said um I guess there's no national uh guidelines for nope like school's going yeah and I was like weird <laughs> so, yeah it's yeah. interesting which like <laughs> to be honest <laughs> i'm glad that they're they didn't take the time to do them because i feel like they'd be awful like i feel like i can totally see trump just like mandating all the schools and like devos mandating all the schools be open in a perfectly normal way with like no masks or something stupid like that so like yay states rights but also some states aren't doing very well with their states rights <laughs> But yeah, no, that's, that's definitely a, a fear. Um, okay, one of the things that I did look up online about this, because I, I didn't know anything about going back mm -hmm. to school, to be honest, because I was like, um, oh, well, you know, I it doesn't really affect me. I, I haven't been in school for a long time. Yeah, other than like <laughs> people's availability. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I was like, whatever. So I looked up um, the CDC. Um, I was like, okay, what's the CDC saying about this? And they do have this long, um, let me check out this. Um, they do have this long uh, list of um, 
of things that schools should do, right? Right. Um, very long. A lot of check boxes. It's like <laughs> like a thousand check checking boxes. I don't. To be honest, it doesn't seem very easy or realistic no. to implement. Um, and but the one article that I did like. Um, Yeah, so the New York Times, they have this um, this map. So basically, I guess uh, Harvard did this I don't know, I'll study analysis, yeah, analysis, um, to see who should go back to school, who shouldn't, and then they had a criteria and then I want some votes. So it says um, so then so then the New York Times used that. So it says we use guidelines from the Harvard Global uh, Health Institute. Um, so it says. As long as the county has fewer than 25 cases for, uh, for 100,000 people. And then they also use uh, WHO's uh, proposal to open uh, only fewer than 5% of all those who are tested for the virus over a two week period actually have it. Um, and so then based on that, but everything in red shouldn't open, like at all. As you can tell, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not a good look for Utah. <laughs> uh, although so, being Texas, though, with like, like what, like five times our population and like a billion more counties and none of them. Yeah, none of them. Like, now, I think one of the reasons why Colorado is doing a good job, too, is because, uh, well, I mean, obviously it's you know, a little bit more reasonable uh, law. Yeah. Over there. But also, like that's, that's where I would run. Yeah. No, they, they, it seems like they're doing a, you know, semi-good job. I mean, yeah. the, East, the Upper East Coast. Probably. Very interesting to see, like, as much as Cuomo seems, like, kind of annoying and an a-hole, like, he's done a, a decent enough job at containing the virus, at least. Maybe not, like, compensating people, yeah. but, yeah. No, no, I, wish, but I wish we could, like, overlay this onto, like, a, a like a, a political map, like a 2016, like... <laughs> who voted for who? Yeah. <laughs> um, now, the, now, from what I understand, though, this upper side um, is a lot of open area. Like, it's... That's open. true. So, could be that... It also helps, I'm sure, you know, not living so close to people. Um, right. Oh, okay, but here's the thing. So, which... Is this Alaska? I don't like Alaska some reason it's like it makes sense like their population density is so low but then you would expect yeah. us i guess it's like way lower than ours but yeah like that's shameful even, for like us in Montana. Texas. am in i texas. from texas sorry what no texas has a lot of open spaces too they i'm sure they have little towns yeah like know. you can tell like it's interesting that the population density doesn't necessarily like florida sure that makes sense all these places yeah. in california makes a lot of sense but like montana i'm pretty sure is like I think it might be the least dense. No, I think it's like the second least densely populated or yeah, I'm going to see uh, what the least densely populated yeah, state yeah. is. No problem. But okay, so but this this is actually very interesting. So they, they had a lot of a lot of information with this. So um, they, they have some more this is just based on just individual stuff like if they should open like for example, this is school should stay remote. Elementary middle schools can reopen, elementary middle schools and high schools partially remote, and then safe to open old schools, which not a lot of people. Um, and then, um, okay, so we know that, uh, um, we know that, okay, so I guess the White House said that if you're, if you, you, ha you can do up to 10% positive rates, and then they're like, yeah, you can go back to school. So based on 10%, this is the map. So see, that's why. You know, so a lot yeah, that's of a good. Like, sure, we'll do it. You know, <laughs> Texas um, still does get me. <laughs> And then who is over here? And then the Harvard one is over here with three percent. Interesting. Um, the other, the other stuff was the uh, the race and the money, the money one. Mm. Um, so this is the share of white population. So by percentage, um, as you can see, old schools can reopen. Um, basically it's a 90% um, white population. Um, so as, as it goes down, it's, uh, it gets worse. 
introduce it if you like. 